I am really beginning to see uh, a fall time frame as uh, all this going crazy. I think we are going to have some hiccups in spring, and I think we will have a kind of a rocky summer, but it's going to be all in preparation for uh, this big uh, whammy for the fall. I see it in the fall, unless something massive comes out. Right now, I've, the analysis I see is they bought enough time to give themselves uh, about another potentially six months. But don't take that to the bank and say, I don't need to do anything right now, because that is not true at all. We could have massive disruptions before the ultimate disruption. And, and, and you know, um, this is why you want to make sure that you have done things that we've mentioned. I don't give out personal financial advice. It's not totally inappropriate. This is a public podcast. But if you have not taken steps to make sure that you have, you know, some cash at home, that you have some, you know, actual hard currency metals at home, you have some food and water sources at home, that it will last you a good, you know, six, eight weeks when all of these things start to really go. Because it's the supply chains are going to get disrupted. And then the trucking will get disrupted and the stores will be empty for a little bit until we uh, can get to uh, back to regular regular distribution methods again. So not only do we have a liquidity crisis, but we definitely are are going to have supply chains. Even California, 